matter what is matter it's very simple to say that anything or you can say everything that we can see around us that we can touch that we can feel is the matter so uh, in scientific terms matter is defined as something which has got its mass and which occupies a space that is known as matter and if we want to classify the matter the matter is having two types of classification one is the physical classification which is on the basis of nature of interparticle force of attraction so you can say the physical classification of matter is based on interparticle force of attraction and on that basis we have matter of three types one is solid another one is liquid and then the another one is gas so you can say in solids the particles are very compactly packed having strongest force of attraction in liquid the force of attraction is a bit weaker but in gases this interparticle force of attraction is weakest right on the other hand if you talk about the chemical classification of matter so chemical classification is based on the nature of constituent particles so on the basis of nature of constituent particles the matter is classified into two categories one is pure substance and another one is make sure if you look at pure substance what are pure substances these are you can say they are made up of same type of particles so or in other words you can say in a pure substance the constituent particles are all identical they are of uh, same types whereas if you talk about in a uh, case of mixtures mixture is made up of more than one type of particles so on the basis of nature of particles pure substances are further categorized into two categories they may be elements or and they may be compounds so the basic difference in elements and compounds is in elements you can say here constituent particles are atoms for example here you can talk about hydrogen oxygen copper iron gold etc so that pure substance in which constituent particles are identical atoms they are known as elements on the other hand the compounds are the pure substances where constituent particles are molecules these are compounds for example you can talk about water carbon dioxide ammonia so as they are made up of same type of molecules that's why these are known as compounds 
If you look at the mixtures, mixtures are made up of more than one type of particles. And here, mixtures are also of two types. One is homogeneous and another one is heterogeneous. In homogeneous mixture, there is uniform uh, distribution of the uh, components of the mixture or you can say there is only uniform mixing of the particles that is homogeneous mixture. Heterogeneous means where the particles are non-uniformly distributed then it is known as heterogeneous mixture, right? So, uh, for example, you can take the case of salt in water or sugar in water. Uh, alcohol and water, these all the, are the examples of homogeneous. If we talk about heterogeneous mixtures like uh, sand and water, oil and water, soil and water, these all are the examples of heterogeneous mixture. So, in this way you can classify the matter whether physically or chemically.